Hi students, welcome back. In the previous video, I explained what is an algorithm. Okay, so then I said algorithm is nothing but it is a step by step method for solving a particular problem or it doing a task. You call it as an algorithm. Okay, so I said the algorithm can be expressed in many kinds of notations. Those are the natural languages, pseudocode, flowchart and programming language. Now let us see what is the pseudocode. Actually, pseudocode is nothing but it is a compact, it is a compact and informal. So, this you have to be noted compact and informal high level description of a program. So, it just describing the program before entering your program. If you write your program in the form of a pseudocode, then you will be understand what are the steps that you have to be taken while writing the program. Okay, a pseudocode is a compact and informal high level description of a program. That means here the name pseudo, pseudo means imitation imitation or a false state it's just imitation or a false that you call it as a pseudo whereas code code means okay it refers to the instruction it refers to the instruction written in programming language programming language Okay, that you call it as a code. So, so the word pseudo means it's just an imitation or a false uh, instructions written in a programming language. So, those pseudo code will be useful only for the description of a program. So, this is an informal high level language, I mean, informal high level description of a program. That you call it as a pseudo code. So, actually this pseudo this pseudo code used for where we will use this is used for only planning of program planning of program so i already said so to plan any program okay if you want to write any program it's better you write first in a pseudo code okay it is used for planning of program next it is also you uh, call as this pseudo code is also called as program design language pdl you call it as a pdl so the pseudo code is also called as program design language okay so now let us see some of the logical structures of pseudo code so is it clear up to now a pseudo code is nothing but it is a false uh, let's imitation or false statement it uh, instructions that are written in a programming language so you call it is a compact and informal high level description program so why we are using pseudo code for planning of programs okay now coming to the logical structures of pseudo code so, what are the logical structures of pseudo code? So, let us see. Okay. So, there are three types of three logical structures in pseudo code. One is sequence logic. One is sequence logic. Another is selection logic. And there is selection logic. And next is iteration logic. Okay. So, these are the three different logical structures of pseudocode. Sequence logic, selection logic, iteration logic. So, let us see one by one. So, first what is a sequence logic? So, the first one is sequence logic. Okay, 
So the name indicating itself it's sequence. Okay, it is used to perform instructions in a sequence. The instructions are performed in instructions are performed in sequence. So let us see the example. How the sequence logic will be will represent means uh, the pseudocode is represented in the form of sequence logic. So the instructions are represented in the form of sequence. So let us take flowchart and the pseudocode to disc, uh, to see the variations between the algorithms. I said algorithm can be expressed in any one of the uh, notations like pseudocode, natural language or flowcharts like that. Okay, so let us take uh, another algorithm to show to know the difference between how this flowchart will be represented and how the pseudocode is represented. So let us take the algorithm flowchart. So if you represent any of the example, flowchart means statement one, statement two, statement three. up to statement n so here i'm uh, writing the flowchart of sequence logics so here the sequence logic saying that the instructions are performed in sequence so this is a flowchart now coming to the pseudocode so how the pseudocode will be represented in the form of sequence logic so the statement should be in the form of sequence so statement 1 statement 2 statement 3 up to statement n okay so this is the diagrammatic representation this is the statement representation so the sequence this is the way you have to represent the sequence logic so now let us see the second one selection logic so the second one is selection logic so here the name saying selection means you are taking the decisions okay it is also called as a decision logic selection logic is also called as decision you are taking the decision decision logic what it does it decides the proper path from one or more alternative paths in the program suppose if you are having so many paths it decides one of the proper path and may send it to the output okay to do the operations to perform the program okay selection is nothing but the decision taking the decision so it decides it decides the proper path you have to mention the proper proper path from one or more alternate path in program logic so if you are having some program logic in that program logic this selection logic will decide which path will be the best one so the examples for this uh, uh, selection logics are if then else if then else block if then block okay so let us see the examples for this so first if then else flowchart So what is it? It's a selection. So first you have to give the condition. Condition. So if the condition is true, okay, it goes to the sequence one statement. Okay. If the condition is false, it goes to another sequence of statement, sequence two. And then out so this is the if then else if condition is true okay proceed then else you have to check this sequence either select sequence 1 or select sequence 2 okay this is a flow chart now how we will represent in the form of pseudo code so the main thing in the pseudo code means the keywords should be represented in capital letters that you have to be import, uh, noted. Okay, that is important. So, the keywords, if condition, whatever it may be, the condition, then 
these are the keywords that should be represented in capital letters if condition then sequence one else sequence two and if so this is the how you represent this pseudocode for this flowchart this is a pseudocode these are the different algorithms so this is a selection logic if then else so let us take if if then coming to flowchart so in if then the flowchart will be first just here like condition condition so in the condition it checks the if condition is true it takes the sequence sequence okay if condition is false it quits the program okay it's not selecting for another it is not if then else it is only if then so if the condition is true it takes the sequence and gets and uh, come to the output okay if the condition is not true it proceeds with the next step okay so this is the if then flow chart so let us see the pseudo code for this if then so the main thing here you have to be noted that that uh, keyword should be in capital letters if condition then if condition then you have to go with the sequence and if so this is a pseudo code for the selection logic thank you